coming on to infusions that work on milligram microgram per kilogram per minute or milligram per kilogram according to the medication that you use and the example we'll discuss here is morphine infusion the strength of morphine is normally 10 milligram in 1 ml and the concentration that we use depends on the dose as well as the need for fluid restriction so usually we use 100 microgram per ml in the concentrated forms and that's the usual preferred because it gives you the flexibility of dropping or increasing the dose the amount of drug that we need to prepare will depend on the volume so most of the time we prefer 25 ml of the infusion so if we make 10 ml we will add 1 milligram of morphine so uh, because the strength we are aiming is 100 microgram per ml so in terms of uh, 10 ml you need 1000 microgram and that's why 1 milligram the dose of the medication because it's 10 milligram in 1 ml will be adding 0.1 ml of the above drug to 9.9 .9 ml of the diluent like saline or dextrose and if you make 25 ml of the infusion we can add 2.5 milligram to 24.75 so depending on the volume of infusion and the strength of the infusion there is another strength of morphine at 40 to 50 microgram so if you want to do the diluted version you can do that as well the usual rate of infusion of morphine is 5 to 20 microgram per kilogram per hour and in post-operative patients the rate can go up to 40 microgram for better pain relief a bolus dose of 50 to 100 microgram per kilogram is usually given at the start of the infusion and if you have this infusion prepared 0.5 to 1 ml of the above preparation so i said 100 microgram per ml so 0.5 to 1 ml per kilogram of the above preparation is given for this bolus so it's quite easy to calculate the bolus as well similar to what we did with the dopamine which is microgram per uh, minute here it is microgram per kilo per hour so to calculate uh, what 1 ml per hour of the infusion will equal in microgram per kilogram so we have to convert the total dose of the drug added to the syringe uh, in microgram so 2.5 milligram was added to the 25 ml solution so that will be 2500 microgram we have to divide this by the patient's weight in kilograms so with a 2 kilo baby so 2500 by 2 is 1250 microgram again and divide by the total volume in the syringe that is 25 ml so we get 50 as the answer so 1 ml per hour will give 50 microgram per kilogram per hour of the infusion so accordingly if you want to give 25 microgram it will be half of this if you want to give uh, a lower volume so if the baby is getting 0.6 ml per hour of 50 times 0.6 will be 30 microgram so we have to uh, get the actual rate by multiplying it with 50 and the reverse way as we calculated uh, how do we decide to give x microgram per kilogram so for example we want to give 20 microgram in a 2 kilo baby so you multiply the specified dose by the weight and divide this by the drug in the syringe in microgram so uh, divide by 2500 in this case and then divide by the volume again and this will give you the rate in ml per hour that you need for giving this 20 microgram dose so i hope this part is clear this is similar for any medication infusion that you use so you have to understand the principle and then 